Ultra Reality Smash Bros is one of Mr. Beast's most requested projects for him to do. If you don't know what Ultra Reality Smash Bros is, it is essentially a virtual reality world that you can enter physically and transform into one of many Smash Bros characters. Think of it as if SAO became real and it was Smash Bros themed, minus the dystopian aspects of course. In this video, we will be covering Dream Newcomer number 2, who happens to be Rosa from Pokemon Black 2 and White 2. Rosa won by a landslide victory, meaning that she will definitely be a fan favorite in the Ultra Reality server. In this video, I will make a case for Rosa joining and even go into Mr. Beast's history with the Pokemon franchise. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy. Here is the list of all predicted newcomers so far, just for reference. Also, shout out to these people for voting for Rosa on the Instagram poll. Let's start by talking about Rosa and her original game before we get into the Smash related stuff. Rosa originated as the female player character in the Nintendo DS games known as Pokemon Black 2 and Pokemon White 2. They were released in 2012, making them the last first party games on the DS. As the name implies, the game is a direct sequel to Pokemon Black and White. The evil Team Plasma has turned into Neo Team Plasma and N is no longer their leader. As Rosa treks through the Unova region to battle all eight gym leaders, she discovers many secrets within the region that weren't covered in the original. What's more, Rosa is also a famous actress in the Unova region, making her a celebrity in both her home universe and the real world Pokemon community. When it comes to Rosa joining Ultra Reality Smash Bros, I believe she has a lot to offer. In Smash Ultimate, there is one song from Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, and it is far from the best song the game's OST has to offer. If Rosa joins Mr. Beast's Ultra Reality Smash Bros. server, we could see a ton more music from Black 2 and White 2 than there is in Ultimate. Gen 5's direct sequel is known to have one of the best soundtracks in the entire series, and there is no better excuse to add songs from the game than to add Rosa to the roster. Another thing I believe is promising about Rosa being added to Ultra Reality Smash Bros is that this could be one of her alternate outfits. This is her heroine outfit from the Pokestar Studios segment of the game. When I played Pokemon Black 2 and White 2 as a kid on my childhood DS and I saw her in this outfit, I thought it looked really cool. Replace the yellow with black and she could fit in perfectly with the Phantom Thieves from Persona 5. I think it would be really cool seeing people playing as Rosa in Mr. Beast Ultra Reality Server while wearing this outfit. I want the other outfits characters can wear in the UR hub world to be actual outfits they wear in their games rather than just color swaps. It could really diversify the server and not only show people's taste in games, but their taste in fashion as well. Now, obviously, being a Pokemon trainer, Rosa can't fight alone in battle. She needs a trusty Pokemon on her side to do most of it for her. The other Pokemon trainers I predict to be in Mr. Beast's Ultra Reality Smash Bros server are Leaf from Pokemon Red and Blue and Cynthia from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Leaf, I was thinking, could use Ivysaur. Cynthia needs to use Garchomp, no question. But who would Rosa use as her main Pokemon in battle? One would think it would be one of Snivy's evolutions, but we can rule that out since Sakurai didn't prove to us in Ultimate that a serpent form fighter can work in Smash. So instead, I was thinking Duat, who is Oshawott's first evolution. I believe Duat could be a really good fighter. Middleweight class, unique water-based moves, and other surprises we'll have to look out for. I was also thinking of boxing ring titles for Rosa, and I thought Pokestar Studios' leading lady fits perfectly. Now, anyone who knows anything about the history of Mr. Beast's channel knows exactly why he should add Rosa to Ultra Reality Smash Bros. And if you don't, I'll explain. Pokemon Black 2 and White 2 is Mr. Beast's childhood video game. Some of the first ever videos on his channel were Pokemon Gen 5 Let's Plays. Seeing as how the majority of the Super Smash Bros roster are made up of childhood video game heroes, 
and ultra reality is a form of technology that can let you turn into them, it would be silly to not add the main character from the game the man creating the server himself grew up with. And there you go, that is why Mr. Beast should add Rosa from Pokemon Black 2 and White 2 to Ultra Reality Smash Bros. Rosa is now the 27th predicted newcomer to join Mr. Beast's Ultra Reality Smash Bros. server and the second predicted newcomer from the Pokemon series after Cynthia. Let me know in the comments if there are any other characters you would like me to cover as to why Mr. Beast should add them to Ultra Reality Smash Bros. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, and as always, stay chill everyone.